Hello there. At last, a good news for Ethiopian government, Ethiopian PM. For months, the government has been grappling with economic crisis. Talks with IMF, World Bank, creditors, uh, foreign reserves dwindling rapidly. Burr losing a value. Ethiopian economy suffered some setbacks in recent days. But a good news today for the Ethiopian economy, Ethiopia as a whole. Details for you in this video. First viewers, uh, we have seen uh, within the past few days that uh, nothing good is happening for the economy. Ethiopians withdrew from Ethiopia then. Uh, no organization showed interest in buying shares of Ethio Telecom. And uh, later we heard about uh, closure of a bottler, a company, a soft drink a company, Moha, owned by uh, Al Amudi, Ethiopian businessman who is in Saudi Arabia these days. Uh, and uh, no announcement of any bailout package. By the way, since last year, since the signing of Pretoria deal in November last year, Ethiopian uh, government officials have been in talks with IMF World Bank. For what? Ethiopia wants a few billion US dollars loan from IMF or World Bank, mainly from IMF. But Ethiopian government has been facing several obstacles and one of the main obstacles was that IMF was demanding a clearance from creditors. Ethiopia owes money to creditors. Ethiopia uh, will have to repay loans to several countries this year, coming year. Before giving any new loan to Ethiopia, IMF want uh, uh, permission, you can say, from these creditors. And Ethiopian government has been in talks with these creditors individually and uh, through some organizations. Ethiopia talked to China. China restructured Ethiopian loan repayments. A few uh, weeks ago, PMRB held a meeting with the Chinese uh, Premier Xi Jinping uh, when BRICS summit was held and China announced rescheduling of Ethiopian loan payments. But main players still uh, had not suspended uh, Ethiopian loan repayments. Now, good news has come for, e for Ethiopia that an agreement has been signed between some Paris club members and other creditors to whom Ethiopia owes and Ethiopian government. And for two years, Ethiopian uh, loan payments have been suspended from the 1st of January 2023 till the, till the end of 2024. For two years, Ethiopia will not pay back loans to uh, these countries. Which countries? Uh, Austria, Denmark, France, Italy, Israel, Japan, Korea, uh, South Africa, Switzerland, Sweden. These are Paris Club members. Paris Club uh, has a uh, 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 not all are Paris Club members. There are some others too. Not members of Paris Club, but they have also agreed uh, to uh, suspend Ethiopian loan repayments. These countries are China, India, Kuwait, Poland, Saudi Arabia, Turkey. They have suspended Ethiopian loan payments too. So, a good news for the government, a sigh of relief for Ethiopian government. Uh, this uh, Development will have two impacts. Firstly, now Ethiopia is not uh, under pressure to repay loans this year and next year. Loans to several uh, countries. Secondly, this agreement is going to pave the way for signing of main agreement between Ethiopian government and the IMF. 
if UOPR wants a few billion US dollars loan from IMF, talks underway. Now, it seems that in coming months, we could see signing of an agreement between Ethiopia and the IMF. By the way, Ethiopia will have to repay these loans, obviously, after 2024. Ethiopia will have to repay loans. If Ethiopian economy can remain above water in 2023, 2024, and if it uh, uh, expands fast, it could be in a position in 2025 to repay loans. But, but there, is, there could be a nightmare for Ethiopia in 2025 if there is no economic progress, rapid economic progress this year and next year. Because the relief, loan payment suspension relief is for two years. After two years, Ethiopia will have to repay all these loans. So, can Ethiopia take advantage of this relief and uh, 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 move towards rapid economic growth? That we'll see in coming uh, years, coming months, rather, 2023, about to end uh, next month, December, last month, uh, rather, uh, uh, 1st of December, starting after a few hours. Uh, so, uh, hard times ahead, but 2024 is very crucial for Ethiopian economy. Ethiopian economy will have to progress in 2024 very rapidly so that it, it can repay all the loans in 2025. Overall, we can say at last PMRB government's efforts are uh, becoming successful in terms of uh, PMRB's efforts to talk to Western countries for the suspension of Ethiopian loan repayments. France played a key role. By the way, France was leading the committee of creditors with whom Ethiopia was in talks. And France played a key role. China as well. Both China and France came to the rescue of Ethiopian government. Other countries as well, which I mentioned that all these countries have agreed to suspend Ethiopian loan repayments. Now, just one point which I want to make. Uh, uh, if Ethiopia keeps on increasing its defense spending, how will it repay loans uh, in 2025? Because so far we're saying that Ethiopia is uh, buying uh, modern drones, uh, combat drones, uh, Kinji, very advanced, costly drones have been purchased reportedly by Ethiopian government. Uh, and maybe deals for some other types of weapons under consideration too. So we can say that government is focused on enhancing the capabilities of its forces while IMF uh, and the creditors want the economy to progress, that economy is in a position to repay loans. So coming year 2024 is going to be crucial. We can say that uh, through effective diplomacy, Ethiopian government has got uh, temporary relief for its economy. But this relief isn't going to be a base for lasting, durable economic progress. Well, I am not an economist. It's difficult to say what Ethiopia should do. But uh, Ethiopian economy's uh, growth rate will have to be increased through practical measures. Direct foreign investment matters a lot. Remittance matters a lot. Uh, growth in indigenous industries uh, matters a lot. Several other factors too which are going to play a key role in Ethiopian economic progress uh, this year, uh, coming year. Overall, we can say PMRB's government has achieved a target, though how of the target achieved, uh, the staff level uh, deal between IMF and the uh, Ethiopian government has not been signed so far. But after the clearance from these creditors, now a peace deal, now the uh, staff level deal is going to be signed in the coming days. Overall, we can say that uh, Ethiopian economy is trapped in the cycle of debt. 
can it come out of debt by getting more uh, loans that we'll see in coming years thank you for watching